Hi and welcome back to the garden. In this video we're going to be talking about the greenhouse and how we constructed it and all the decisions we made for design and materials and how we made it strong enough to stand up to these strong Niagara escarpment winds. So for the cold frame itself I elevated the outside walls here uh, to go from three feet to six feet so it matches the fence over here and then uh, I was able to put that framing there and then put the seven PVC arches across the top. For snow load, I also put in a beam through the center that you can see there and then wrapped it in poly. Uh, there's three pieces of poly here mainly used, one for the front wall, one for the back wall, and then one that goes right across the top and down the side wall. The side wall also has the roll up side feature, uh, which I'll show you now. From here you can see the roll-up sides where I have a PVC pipe running the length of the garden wall and the poly sheet rolls up this side. It's held in place and against the greenhouse by anti-billowing rope which really uh, stops the wind from grabbing it. But it's basically just rope that is weaved back and forth to keep it nicely against the greenhouse. So we also have roll-up sides along the back where uh, well, it's a little out of whack right now, but we have roll-up sides down the back, which takes a little bit of air, but it's held together simply with a PVC handle and some rope. Hold it where it needs to be. You could use a little bit of tweaking there to keep it nice and high, but the same concept applies to both the back and the sidewall. Ooh, bird banger. I'm not the only one growing grapes. Anywhere I needed to fasten the poly to the frame, I used uh, the channel and wiggle wiggle bit, the channel and wiggle wire that you see here, and that's basically a piece of wire that you see wiggling through here to hold it down to the frame. It doesn't uh, usually pinch the poly, uh, and you're able to take it out pretty easily, uh, so that you can reuse it next year. The plan for this is actually to take it down in the spring, so that we can have a regular garden again. I'm still kind of debating whether I'm going to leave the frame up and just take the poly off or take everything down to make it look like the original garden again. The hoops themselves are two lengths of one inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe and they're attached to the top corners of the high tunnel with a 45 degree bracket that is covered in duct tape. Any piece of PVC that touches the poly is covered in duct tape so the PVC doesn't actually come in contact with the poly because when the polyethylene plastic reacts with the polyvinyl chloride of the PVC, uh, it actually releases the chlorine and degrades the poly so that it'll make this poly garbage in about a year. Uh, whereas if we protect it from that uh, contact, it could last up to five to 10 years. Also, the duct tape is really good for covering up any sharp objects so we won't rip the poly. That's the plan anyway. One more note about the poly is that I didn't use regular six mil poly that you would find at Home Depot or another big box hardware store that you would use for vapor barrier, for example. I actually went to Westland Greenhouse Solutions where I got proper UV resistant six mil poly for greenhouses. Uh, one of the best part about it is that they sell it in whatever size you need. So I got a nice uh, big sheet that would cover the greenhouse without any seams. So there we have it. Our greenhouse project for fall of 2020 has really come together. I'm looking forward to talking about the stuff that I'll be able to grow in the cold frame and harvest fresh vegetables, hopefully all the way up till near Christmas. And then we'll get a head start on the 2021 garden a couple months earlier than normal. I'm thinking maybe of doing more seedlings next year on a much larger scale and then getting a uh, farmer's market table uh, and selling them in our little small town here. Who knows? Possibilities are endless with our new cold frame. This is fantastic. If you have any questions about any of the tools that I used or the materials that I used to put this together, please mention them in the comments down below. We'll be happy to answer any questions as soon as I get them. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more videos, please subscribe down below. Until the next time, this is Ryan from My Niagara Garden. Aha! Ha! Ta-da!